Hello everyone, I welcome you all to our channel Let's Learn Automation and from this session we are going to start the object oriented principle in Java. Uh, so for that uh, we will start from the inheritance. So first of all let's try to understand all the which are the object oriented concept in Java. So here I will create a new package as we are going to learn the new things. So the package name will be inheritance. And here I will create one class. Program one. So let's try to understand the concept first. So here I will write down some query and comment section. So this is what the object oriented programming concept. So uh, let's try to understand the th theory about it. So Java programming language is very popular in the software industry because of its concept and that is very useful while programming or while automation or while writing the Java programs too. So there are total five uh, important pillar of principle in Java. First one is inheritance, then polymorphism, encapsulation, interface and abstraction. So we'll start from the uh, inheritance itself. So it is one of the object oriented principle where one class acquires the properties of another class with the help of extend keyword. So we can say that there are there will be two classes. One class will be the parent one and the other class will be the child one. And child will access the properties of parent. Just like uh, in a family, if father have uh, like home, then money, car, everything. So that belongs to children. In the same way, here also we are using the same uh, type of concept. Then the class from where the properties are called as a super or parent class. So the upper class is called as parent class and the class to where the properties are inherited is known as a sub or child class. Then inherited takes place between the two or more classes. So if we need to use the concept or uh, if we need to implement the concept of inheritance then we should have the at least two classes. So here we have the total four types of inheritance like single level, multi level, then multiple and triadical. So we we'll start from the single level. So before that, uh, first of all, we try to understand what the inheritance concept we have in diagrammatical manner. So here I will select one pen. So for example, this is what one class and the name of the class is like parent. And here we have the another class and uh, its name looks like child. And now this class is interconnected. Why interconnected? Because there is a relationship. So both this class is interconnected with each other as this is the parent class, this is the child class. Now parent class having some properties like we can say that parent have home, then money, then car. So these are the properties of the parent class. And what child can have? So child can have bike and mobile. So these are the properties of child class. So ultimately child can access all the properties of parent class because this arrow shows the uh, direction. So child can access all the properties of parent class like car, money and home. But Parent cannot access the properties of bike and more bike and mobile, which belongs to the child. So this is what the relationship between the two uh, classes. So this is what the class one and this is what the class two. And we can connect the two classes by using the extend keyword. So by using the extend keyword. So basically there will be two classes. This is parent class, this is child class. It is also called as a super class and it is also called as a subclass so this is what the single level inheritance where one class uh, the child class can access the properties of the parent class so now uh, let's try to understand all these things in a program so it is this so now i will create uh, okay we have already have the class okay so this is our class now so uh, 
in this eclipse uh, we can create the multiple classes in the same file so like if i try to create the class like uh, we have seen the diagram of parent and child so here i can create a class like class parent so this is the parent class and below that i will create another class class child this is child class so now there is no connection between the, these two classes so as i said or in a, in a theoretical portion we can see that uh, inheritance takes place between the two or more classes and we can connect or we can use the make use of extend keyword to connect the two classes because we are looking to the single level inheritance so here i can connect these two classes by using the extends keyword so child extend here we need the parent so this is what the interconnection between the two classes that is parent class and child class now child class is connected with the parent class so child class can access the properties of the parent class so this is the parent class and this is the child class which is connected to the parent now here i will create uh, some method so like void uh, home i can say so here i can write parent have home in the same way i can create one more method like car so parent have car too. and in child i can create the method like bike so here i can write child have bike so here we can say that the parent class has the two properties that is home and car and child have the one only single property that is the bike we can create the multiple properties depend upon us so now what we need to do we need to call it and we need to execute all those things so that uh, we are able to execute the home method car method and bike method so to execute all those things we can we have the multiple options like uh, we know that we can access or we can call this home and car method by using the object of parent class so here our main method is available so what we need to do here here i will create one object of parent class this is our parent class here i will create the object of parent p equals to new parent and now i can call the method p1 dot home and p dot car not p1 so if i execute this then i will get the result like parent have car home and parent have car and now if i need to execute this method that is bike method which belongs to the child class so for that i need to create the uh, object of child class because this method is available in the child class so here i will create the object of child class child c equals to new parent sorry new child so this is the object of child class and now i can call c dot So if I execute, then I am able to call all the method. But in this case, what happened? This is what the conventional way. But in this example, we are using the inheritance. For what we are doing, we are connecting the one class to the another class. So we are extending the parent class with the child class. So here we got an advantage that we can make use of child class object to call the method of child as well as parent. because this child is connected to the parent class so here i can say that i will comment this so this is not required for now and now here we can say that c dot home i am able to access the home method in a c dot car so i am able to access the car method so if i execute this 
then also i am getting the execution of every method so this is what the single level inheritance where the child class is accessing the properties of the parent class that is home and car now this is only happen if we use the inheritance over here inheritance means what so as now we can see that this particular child class is connected to the parent class by using the extend keyword now if i comment this thing so if i comment this now child class is separate and home class is separate now here we can see that we got the error like create the method home because that home method is unknown for this particular object or the object of child class even car method is unknown if i uncomment this or sorry if i remove this comment now and if i scroll it now there is no error so that's that is what the uh, inheritance so here we are using the single level inheritance but in this particular program we have created all the classes in the same file the file name is like program one dot java here is one class the class parent then this is the another class class child and this is for the another class where we are uh, calling the method so this particular class only execute there is no relationship between the program one and child class and parent class in this class as we have the main method so we are able to execute all those method by creating the object of child class or even the parent class so this is what the uh, usage of this particular program one class or else we can, what we can do we can call all those things in the child class itself after creating the main method so this is what the pattern we are using now this is not required so i will delete this because we are using the inheritance over here so this is what the advantage of inheritance now we don't need to create the object of parent class as well as child class child class object is uh, applicable or useful for creating the or calling the method of parent as well as child class so this is what the program uh, where we have used everything in a single file so now i will do the same thing in a different different classes or different different file so here i will create a new class program 21 then another class or i can use the naming convention like parent and child okay so here i will use the class like child i think okay child one i can say because this class is already present so it will not allow us to create the same name of class so here i will use the child one and i will rename this class as a parent one okay and finally okay let's try to do uh, execute this uh, method or call the method in the child class so this is what our parent one class let's close this so this is our parent one class and this is our child class okay so in parent class i will write down one method like void again home you can use the same example or different two and here i will write down home then again i will copy with the method and create another one like car this is car and this is called the child class here i will create the method like bike and bike and again i will create one more method like mobile and here also mobile and to execute all those things i will create main method in child class so main and now i will create the object of child class so 
child one c one plus two new child one now c one dot like i can call the c one dot mobile now if i try to call the c1 dot home so i don't have any option over here to call the home method because these are the two separate classes this is the parent one class this is the child one class these are the two separate classes and there is no relationship between the parent class and child class so to make or to construct the relationship i just need to extend this class with the parent one class and now if i try to access the parent class method then i i will get the home and even c1 dot car okay so i haven't saved this particular class so that is what that's why giving the error so now here we can say that Now, if I try to execute this class, so we'll get what is it like bike, mobile, home, and this is car. So let's execute again. So now we are getting the output of everything that like bike, mobile, home, and car. So in this way, we can execute the single inheritance or we can create the program for single inheritance in the same class or in the same file or in a different different file so it depend upon us how we are going to do so we can it is uh, we can write the program in the same file or in a different file too even we can write down this main into the another class so that main only need to need to be shifted so this is what the single level inheritance thank you